Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are doing our Galaxy Note 9 benchmark results test. And overall with this, uh, we are gonna be comparing it to the S9 Plus and the Note 8. Now this is the six gig of RAM version model. However, we will do the eight gig of RAM version next week. So make sure to subscribe to check that video out. All right, now first we have to, of course, look at what's on these devices. So overall, you have a Snapdragon 845 processor on the Note 9 and the S9 Plus. However, you have a Snapdragon 835 on the Note 8, so we should see some different results, especially in the processor test. However, also I want to point out that it seems that at least for processing power, they're exactly what we expect. For RAM, actually, it does acknowledge more RAM on the Note 9 than on the other phones. So I'm not sure if that's a software tweak that's happened over Samsung over time, but it's a really good one to know about uh, because that's almost five gigs more, uh, or 0.5 rather, more that is acknowledging. Now, first we're gonna go through the processor benchmark, Geekbench. Then we're gonna do go through graphics processing at 3 d Mark, and then in 2 which is an overall phone processor results. Now, let's go ahead and see. So it looks like it got rid of our results for this one, but that's why we always have a backup. All right, so let's go over this. This is the processor benchmark, so you can easily see that while the Note 9 and the S9 Plus are similar, it blows away the Note 8, obviously, because newer processor versus last year's processor. So mainly, I would say the single core score is the big one. Uh, however, the multi-core is um, impressive as well. But this is, again, one of the reasons if you want a faster speed device and you feel it lagging on this side, this is one of the reasons to upgrade just for the processing power. 2446 for the single core results and multi-core 8731. All right. And now we go through the 3D mark test. and it doesn't acknowledge what this device is yet uh, as well on this one. So I'll look at my results and then we'll look at the comparisons. So uh, again, on the graphics test, you could see that this one did uh, beat this one. However, you can see that overall, it's actually very close again with this one. So there's not too much difference in graphics between these two. I was wondering if the new cooling pipe would help on the Note 9, but it seems again to be pretty much on par. I mean, this is a small difference on the Slingshot and then the Slingshot Vulcan. Actually, this one did a little bit better. Now, how does this compare, compare to other devices on the market? So, Overall, this one scored a 4670. That is better than any other one currently on uh, on the average test. So it's better than OnePlus 6, uh, Oppo Find 10, Asus Zenfone uh, 5Z, and Xiaomi Black Shark. So overall, this is doing fairly well, and the average for the S9 Plus is 4573, so it did score higher than that. But of course, this is just one time, so we would have to see an average with the Note 9 over time to see if that would change. And then finally, we go to the Intuitu benchmark test. And as you can see with these results, we did see again, handily the Note 9, a huge increase in overall smartphone compared to last year. But the real thing is, is that it actually kind of handily beat the S9 Plus as well. My guess is this results really just from the fact that with these two phones, you have a lot of software tweaks that definitely were probably improved over time. And that's why it's also being the S9 Plus handily in this one. Now, when we go to the ranking, we can actually see that this score did beat most phones, including again, the S9 Plus. That is close to the average for the S9 Plus, by the way, as well. Uh, however, it did not beat the average for the OnePlus 6 or the uh, Xiaomi Black Shark. So overall, it is scoring higher than the S9 Plus pretty handily, but again, we would have to see on averages over time if it's a real improvement. So let me know what you guys think. Do these 
results surprise you. Obviously it handily beat the Note 8 and this is where you can really see all of the hardware difference from one year to the other. But from about six months difference from the S9 Plus to this one, I don't think it's too big. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. And again, make sure to subscribe to check out all of our latest Galaxy Note 9 videos because we're going to have the most on YouTube. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.